Okay, so somebody on Reddit asked how um, this worked and also if I could show this filter with a static frame. So I have now put this on the table. Um, so I'll explain the algorithm. On the right you'll see me normally, on the left you see the processed version. Uh, what it does, it's a recursive algorithm. It first, it starts with a cell the size of the whole screen. It then determines the center of mass um, according to some criteria of mass then splits along the longest axis of the cell and then you repeat that for the child cells and again and again and again um, this might be a bit easier to explain if I show you uh, this with the image gradient because you can use different sources right now I'm using the brightness as a center of mass so the brighter the more weight it has this uh, is the effect with negative input so the um, so I take the negative uh, version of the image and then the brightest of the negative gets the center of mass and this is an image gradient it's a very faint outline but uh, if you can see it so then it will hone in on the outlines and this is per axis uh, it's still image gradient so the effect of this is that um, for example now it's using the positive center of mass um, it will m the resolution will be highest in the relative brightest spots now so I just put two lamps here to illustrate so I'm gonna blind myself for a bit now look to the left and see how the uh, size of the pixels change the brighter spots shrink a bit see that if I do this with negative center of mass you would expect the opposite to happen and indeed it does um, if I do this with image gradient, which is not very much affected by this, um, well, it is a bit because you can suddenly see my eyes. So uh, there is an effect there actually. Didn't expect that. Well, it makes kind of sense. Um, well, anyway, that's the effect basically in a nutshell. Uh, what's also um, clear is that like this is the effective amount of pixels. So on the right, you'll now see 32 by 32 pixels. On the left, you'll see 32 by 32 rectangles of flexible size. It's not a fair comparison because you need more data to store the image on the left. But still, it's interesting. And, um, well, like I said, because the resolution hones in on whatever the criteria for mass is, in this case, um, the bright wall will basically get a higher resolution in this case the my hair will get a higher resolution um, with an image gradient uh, it, it looks at uh, the highest contrast areas which are the pictures be pictures behind me um, I don't know if you can really see that in the compressed version of this but there's a lot of little details here and as you can see if you compare um, the blocks on the right to the blocks on the left um, yeah, the ones on the left get more detail much quicker. Look at the little blue boy in the middle. You see, it gets um, details much faster. Uh, to add to the effect, I also made a version which allows me to split per color uh, channel. So now I take the average color in general, but if I do this per red, green and blue, you get these funky color fringing effects, which are also kind of nice. Yeah, And again, you can do this per color channel. Maybe this will actually have different effects because my shirt is blue. Let's see that. Can you get it stronger? I uh, know the whole image is a bit too bluish for that. I'm afraid. Oh well. Okay, so that's that's a little explanation of what uh, this is all about.